Hello everyone. Today we will solve these two problems asked in CSIRNet June 2019. Read 41 number problem. It says that let yx be the solution of uh, the given second order linear differential equation along with two conditions and they are asking what is going to be the value of y3. Okay. So let us try to solve this one and after that we will solve 42 number problem as well. This second order linear differential equation with variable coefficient is given to us along with these two conditions. Okay. And they are asking what is the value of y at x is equal to 3. Okay. To solve this kind of problem, usually we use the concept called change of independent variable. For that purpose, simply we substitute z is equal to log x and after that dy dx it turns out to be dy dz and that will imply dz dx is 1 by x so you have this kind of stuff in your hand similarly you will have x square d2 y dx2 is equal to this kind of thing okay so we are going to use this one here and it transformed into this kind of equation and observe this is second order linear and with constant coefficient this differential equation. So you can easily solve this one and you have y is equal to a e to the power minus z plus b e to the power 2z now z is your log x so you just substitute that one and you have a by x plus b x square this is your y x this is the general solution okay now your next job is to find the constants a and b for that purpose you will use that uh, conditions and after using that conditions you will find that a is equal to I think 6 by 7 and b is equal to 1 by 7 just perform the calculation and you have finally y x is equal to 6 by 7 into 1 by x plus 1 by 7 x square okay finally y3 is going to be 7 1 by 3 plus 1 by 7 into 9 so that turns out to be 11 by 7 which is exactly your fourth option means the fourth option is the correct one here okay now let's solve the second question where this second order linear differential equation is given to us along with these two boundary conditions and they are asking about the eigen value of that differential equation so simply the general solution of that equation y x is equal to a sine lambda x plus b cos lambda x okay for your further work just find it y dash x lambda a cos lambda x b lambda sin lambda x okay now use these two conditions separately and you have <coughs> from that first condition you have b is equal to from that first condition b is equal to a sin lambda pi plus b cos lambda pi and that will give you a sin lambda pi plus b that means cos lambda pi minus 1 into b it is equal to 0 okay and similarly from that second one what you have is lambda a is equal to 
lambda a cos lambda pi can after using the given two conditions two boundary conditions we have this kind of thing this is the first one first relation and this is the second one okay now to get the non trivial solution satisfying both the boundary conditions we need to have the corresponding determinant is equal to zero that means the corresponding determinant means sin lambda pi cos lambda pi minus 1 cos lambda pi minus 1 and here it will be minus sin lambda pi this determinant must be equal to zero to get the non trivial solution it just perform the calculation and you have cos lambda pi is equal to 1 and that will give you lambda is equal to 2n where n is equal to 0 plus minus 1 plus minus 2 and so on so in the question they have asked the positive values of lambda for which the equation will have non-trivial solution so in that case n is going to be 1 2 3 and so on okay so which implies your second option this is the straightforward answer your second option is going to be the correct one and rest of the three options are obviously false thank you